Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is the Asus Vivo Tab Note 8 M80TA, which is kind of a long name for a fairly small tablet. It's an 8 inch Windows 8 tablet uh, that has a 1280 by 100 pixel display, an Intel Atom Bay Trail processor, 2 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs to 64 gigs of storage, front and rear cameras, and a 15.5 watt hour battery. It's uh, relatively lightweight, it's got a plastic uh, case here and uh, you've got your screen rotation, your Windows 8 style applications, and of course, because it's a full Windows tablet, you can also run desktop style applications. One of the things that sets it apart from some of the other relatively inexpensive devices, and I forgot to mention that it has a starting price of $299, is that right here, tucked away in the case, as I struggle to pull it out, there we go, is a stylus, and this is a Wacom uh, Active Stylus with 1024 uh, pressure points or uh, pressure sensitivity. So you can see that we can write and draw on the screen. I'm not so good at writing or drawing, but uh, but you can do it. And then uh, one of the things I really like about having a stylus with a uh, device when you're running, say, Windows desktop mode, is that you can actually hover over the screen. So you can see without touching the display at all, um, I can move, I can select, I can uh, hit that checkbox and say that's what I want, and I'm going to double select and select something else. So uh, you've got that Wacom stylus, which seems to work pretty well. It's thin, it's light, it doesn't uh, feel quite like a pen, it feels more like a little stick, but it uh, interacts well with the device and doesn't require uh, any external batteries. So unlike the Dell Venue 8 Pro, which doesn't have a place to store the stylus inside the case, and which doesn't, and which requires batteries for the stylus, uh, this has a Wacom stylus, which is uh, many people find to be a little bit more accurate, and it uh, stores in the case. Taking a quick look at some of the other uh, capabilities here, with an Atom processor, you should get fairly long battery life, and let's change the screen rotation here. And it's telling us that Windows is not activated. We've got a front-facing camera here. There we go. Front-facing camera, a rear camera, and Windows software. You can see that it's running Windows 8.1. We've got a list of all the applications it runs. It's pretty responsive. I found that uh, Windows works pretty well on Bay Trail systems, and uh, Internet actually seems to be decent in this uh, room for once, so we can load web pages pretty quickly, and you can see that the uh, Internet Explorer web browser is also fairly zippy. In fact, we can even go in here and find another article about the same thing that we're looking at. Uh, 299 for 32 gigs of storage, 349 for a model with uh, 64 gigs of storage, and it should be available in the second quarter of the year. If you take a look at the back here, you can see again that stylus slot, there's a speaker on the back, camera, second speaker, so you've got stereo, uh, volume and power buttons on the side, and over here we've got a SD card slot, and that is about it. Uh, optional accessories include the Vivo Tab Note 8 Versa sleeve, which is a uh, little magnetic sleeve that you can also prop up and use as a stand. And then uh, Asus is also showing its trans keyboard over here, which is a uh, keyboard that works as a stand as well. Uh, it's designed to work with uh, anything up to a 10-inch tablet, so it would also work with this 8-inch model. Now, I found 8-inch models with keyboards are not necessarily always the easiest thing in the world to use because um, the screen resolution of 1280 by 800 works pretty well when you're holding something in your hands. It's a little bit more difficult when you are... Uh, putting it farther away, uh, like the distance that you would normally hold a notebook. So uh, apps like Netflix and Kindle and uh, others that are really designed for um, uh, full screen mode work just fine and they're sort of resolution independent. But when you want to go and use something like Microsoft Office, and this does come with Office 2013 uh, Home and Student Preloaded, it's uh, going to be a little bit less of a uh, stellar experience. Uh, taking a look here, uh, this is a demo model, but it has 24 gigs of uh, space. Um, and then 7.4 gigs that are actually allotted to the recovery. So uh, if you get the 32 gig model, don't expect a lot of free space. And in fact, there's only actually 7.5 gigs of free space here right now. I don't know if that's because there's a lot of programs installed in here or something else, but um, you might want that 64 gig model if you want to make sure that you've got a lot of space. But again, it has a micro SD card slot so you can just add some extra storage yourself. So again, quick overview, Asus VivoTab Note 
8 M80 TA, which is uh, coming soon from ACES for about $2.99 and up. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing.